Square. You ever heard of it? Uh-uh. You never heard of Square? Look at Jack Dorsey, bro. <laughs> Go to Discord. Looking Dude. ugly. Bro, look at him without a beard. Is he back? Is Jack back? No, he's not. He's not without a beard. This is this is a uh, this is November. This might be an old picture, but he looks like a little little little, little baby Jack, dude. It's not lone. It's not. Um, Square, right? Square CEO is Jack Dorsey, also CEO of Twitter. Square is a, a payment processor for. I think it's supposed to be small businesses, but uh, not positive exactly, but. Jack Dorsey under Square has a new decentralized Bitcoin exchange called TB Dex, which is a protocol that seeks to improve the on ramp rails into Bitcoin. And they released a white paper, I think yesterday, the November 19th, 2021. Um, the statement said, we believe the economy should be inclusive. We need to build on ramps to this future where everyone can access and participate in the economy. goes back to what I was saying. The, what, the biggest gap right now is onboarding people into blockchain. Make a good product for that. Like Square probably definitely will. Uh, and and you, got a, you got a nice little business there. Uh, the TB Dex protocol aims to bridge the gap between the fiat and Bitcoin worlds, given that most people still receive their paychecks in fiat currency and pay taxes in fiat currency. The project aims to make it easier for those who want to convert their debasing fiat. Whoa, whoa, way to just hit fiat in the freaking gut there, Nasdaq.com. That's your whole shtick. 6.2%. What, 6.2%? Inflation. <laughs> for appreciating uh bitcoin in the purest free market market possible it's from nasdaq.com dang dude nasdaq and oh, it's from bitcoin magazine <laughs> okay um bitcoin magazine that's really interesting they uh they want to make that fiat into bitcoin a little bit easier dude and dude, with square doing that man homie said get square a long time ago and and i've been blindly long on square for a minute but stuff like that is, is the, the validation of homies theories how many shares you got a nice little handful but uh not the not the best entry gotta wait for a little dip again but uh solid foundation friend sells hella covered calls on square it's like 1500 dollars right. a month passively whether it goes up or down um, how many shares does he have a hundred yeah, you have to have at least a hundred to sell covered calls. Um, Just about that. So. Right, right, right. Uh, we propose a solution that does not re rely on a federation to control permission or access to the network, nor does it dictate the level of trust required between counterparties. There is no governance token. Instead, the TBDEX protocol allows participants to negotiate trust directly with each other or mutually and voluntarily rely on trusted third parties to vouch for the counterparty. Uh, so it's, I think what people were saying where it's not completely decentralized, oh God, uh, but, but it's quasi decentralized, but Twitter and Dorsey and company and square have this whole push for decentralized stuff. And it's very interesting. So my thinking process is as the internet and web evolves into less siloed and more decentralized people and peer to peer are bigger companies that have made their stake in the modern day technology era, which is very into only a few companies. Will they go more transparent as a company? Will there be more decentralized stuff and blockchain stuff where you can see everything? Will companies become less secretive? I don't know, whatever makes more money. Yeah, that's what you said last time. But I mean, as web evolves, I would I would assume that it goes certain ways of the past where you got to be at least somewhat dipped into the new current. It'll be interesting to see <clears throat> 40, 50 years from now, which companies exist still on the top. Because as the past says, top companies die off pretty easily and aren't on the top of the markets anymore. But this might change that. Crypto.com Arena. Heard of it? Crypto. Crypto. Uh, oh, freaking, freaking. 
<laughs> Did you see that Westbrook thing, man? No. So Russell Westbrook is on, is on the Lakers now, and he's from L.A. Yeah. And a reporter was like, uh, he said some, the audio was horrible, by the way. They couldn't get any other audio, but there was like a, a ringing. Uh, the reporter was talking to Russell Westbrook, and he was saying uh, something about Crypto.com Arena. And Russell Westbrook was like, you said Crypto Arena? <laughs> and he's like, no, no, Crypto.com. And Russell Westbrook was like, oh, okay. Crypto Arena. I honestly thought maybe perhaps Coinbase Stadium or something along the lines. Coinbase isn't marketing for sports as heavy as FTX or Crypto.com or these other people, unless I haven't seen it. But I haven't seen a Coinbase sports marketing. And also $700 million for that. Seems low, right? 20 years. Just, right? For 20 years, dude. Like, for staples. Like, Amazon literally could have sneezed and been like, just call it Amazon <laughs> Arena. Fuck it. YOLO. I'm not sure Crypto.com's capital situation. I'm also not sure of like, I think it was, is it AEG that is, is, is like brokering the deal somehow? Let me see. Yeah, they own it. They own the stadium. Also, who know. the fuck uses Crypto.com? Some people. Some people, it's it's definitely up there. It's probably I've more like heard a, of it. it's it's kind of like a medium user. Uh, their coin people like to speculate on, and it definitely ran up as people got into that. In twenty years, will we be using dot com a lot? Dot com, or will we be like, Whoa, why do we call it that? Uh, we, like, let's just change it to crypto dot eth arena or some shit. Well, eth eth that dot eth thing is in a website, dude, right? It's it's only it only it's only a plug to an address. At I first, did you, we didn't talk about that either. Um, uh, so ENS, I forget if that's an acronym for something, but ENS is a is a place where people can buy .eth domains, and <clears throat> they had an airdrop, <coughs> and they had an airdrop for their coin for people who bought an address before a certain date, and it it ran up kind of a lot. And people were buying a lot of domains because it was really easy to buy a domain and people could be like intuitively like think about that. They're like, oh, I know what a dot com is. I've, I've seen GoDaddy. See how GoDaddy marketing, by the way, they've been like, they turned it around, but not even that. I'm saying they've implanted GoDaddy into people's brains over like two decades with tits, but then they changed it. But like people always knew about it. Um, so people bought these dot ETH domains. But it, it's just like you can type in bond.eth instead of a big uh, MetaMask address. And you can, and that, that's your address domain. Uh, I wonder what people are going to say when they say, oh, I'm going, are they say, I'm going to crypto? Because now they say, I'm going to Staples. I'm going to go check out. Nah, no, I'm saying anyone who's been to Staples, it's okay. Anyone who's buying tickets and has bought tickets, like, like season ticket holders, they won't say crypto arena they'll they're, they're say staples yeah they're gonna say crypto arena no, gonna, they, you yes think... they will it's gonna be it's gonna be fast dude they're gonna change that sign in less than a month every they're, you're not gonna see staples anywhere inside they're gonna change all the fucking paint season ticket okay long-term lakers fans are gonna call it crypto arena yeah with literally within the year you think so because then you're gonna start walking around and people are gonna be like what the fuck is staples center you know it's gonna be fast I think for the layman, sure, sure, sure. Because it does happen once people like uh, like Oracle for the Warriors and they changed to the Chase in San Francisco. I, the, the, I, okay. Sorry, go, go for it. I don't know. I've been going to Staples Center since 1999. <laughs> you already called Crypto Arena? I'm literally already looking at it. I'm like, when am I going to change this shit? <laughs> like, it, it, will look cooler. it will look cooler than Staples. Like I, for a certain amount of my life, I didn't uh, equate Staples to like the staples retail brand yeah, yeah and then when i did it was a little less cool there's a staples down the street from staples center it's literally said it had like a sign on it for like the past five years everything must go 90 percent off like oh man but 700 yeah. mil for 20 years i think it might even be 40 let me let me check real quick i think it's 20 but also 20, so 25 years seven 700 or 70 hold on let me let me let me let me so hey, AG like owner. I don't even know what AG stands for. It's oh, I'm just, real estate. Um, a 20 year agreement. It takes effect December 25th. 
the good old Crip Arena. Don't kill me. I'm not affiliated. Um, Bryant Stadium. Bryant Stadium would be dope, but. They, I don't know. I, what, what's Kobe Bryant's family network? It's like, they just had a $600 million deal, so I'm sure they could have scraped together some cash. Um, let me just confirm real quick. Staple, okay, Staples was built in 1999 for $375 million. Um, I can't find the. I think they're just gonna say, okay, yeah, we're gonna go check out. We're gonna go see uh Bruno Mars tonight at Crypto, at the Crypto. Maybe yeah. we'll see the Crypto. Oh, they're gonna say no, they're not. They might. I'm gonna start that. I I'd, I'd say at the Crypto. Yeah. Oh, that sounds so fucking cool, bro. But then then we just want to say the Crypt, bro. It's gonna be a whole thing, dude. Nah. The murder numbers are gonna go up, dude. It's very easy to say the Crypt, dude. You think you, you might say the there's crypt. a whole new market for for gang affiliation with with buying crypto.com, dude. If, if, if crypto.com uh, really wanted to to market themselves, they'd get into the gang, the gang game. The crypto, dude. I can't believe the weekend's playing the crypto tonight, bro. Is he playing the Greek or the crypto? Oh, the Greek's too small. He's at the crypto. They moved it from the crypto to the Rose Bowl. The crypto didn't have enough seats. Uh, what was I gonna say? Speaking of venues, venue talk. <laughs> Guess what closed? No. Don't tell the me. E- the Echo. Oh. Really? Yeah. Couldn't pay the lease. Rent was too high. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it was in the LA Times. Wow. Well, rip the Echo, dude. Let's see if I can get a headline. That was a cool little venue. Uh, that's interesting. I mean, you can't do like anything else with it. Like, I guess you, they, were, they were on hard times since like 2020 probably, but. Yeah. But shows are going hard right now. Honestly, maybe like fucking Live Nation. Well, well, they are getting sued for two billion, so maybe they don't have that much money anymore. What's up with Live Nation? Oh, you didn't hear Let's the hear. Travis Scott lawsuit is oh, that, that, that. hot. How's that Live Nation? Uh, Live Nation organized the event. Okay, so then how's that they, Travis Scott? They're they just all in it. it for Travis Scott. Yeah, but they're, Travis they're... Scott in the lawsuit. Travis Scott, Live Nation, Drake. <laughs> Apple Music are all being sued. And who is Drake? Because he was on stage. Who's the opposite of defendant? I think uh, defendant like means who, who's suing? Like three hundred people. Okay. that got hurt. Oh, I'd get in there. I'd get yeah. in there. Yeah, my, my elbow, just, bro. Let me get. I, I, I bought a ticket, but I couldn't make it. But I'm gonna still slide in there. Let me get like at least, at least, give me like thirty k. So yeah, Apple Music speaks sued because they were streaming the event. But my I'd thing is, sure. that, my kid died there. I mean, I'd, I'd mourn a little bit, but I'd be like, come on, can I get something? What about all the artists that performed before Travis Scott <laughs> that were building up the crowd? I saw, I that saw point? Drake. <laughs> Dude, that defense was crazy. I would, I would love to be in that courtroom to see what, because I mean, <sighs> is there a liability? There's probably something in that in that ticket that says no one's liable for anything. I would assume. There is a thing actually on the ticket that says it said something about like injury or something like we're not responsible for injury, but it didn't say anything about death. So, yeah, that I feel like is not possible. But apparently the uh, the venue Are only they has twenty five million dollars of insurance. Uh-huh. So who knows how much the Live suit- Nation and Travis Scott has? Uh, it was thirty or three hundred. The the uh Lost. people yeah I think it was three hundred people no no the dollar amount two billion uh that's more than three hundred yeah Kylie's like all right go get my purse <laughs> here Travis God dang it dude <laughs> just pay me back <laughs> see that's a healthy that's a healthy you know that's just you got a healthy your girl out did you bro I mean she's not even they're not even married though so she could just be uh, like, peace maybe maybe it is unhealthy <laughs> um what was I gonna fucking say <laughs> so like yo like. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but those people are going to get a fat payday for sure. It's going to be interesting. I would, I would assume that lawyers of a venue said, hey, if you die, you can't sue us. Yeah. That'd be the first two things I'd write as a non-lawyer writing a contract. It's like, hey, injury, not us. Death, not us, please. I wonder who's going to be the most at fault. I would say. That's interesting, too. I, I'm the venue, bro. Live Nation, the venue, but the venue's not in charge. Of, okay, the venue's in charge of like the infrastructure <laughs> of the venue, but the venue didn't oversell the tickets. I think that was. Is it oversold? Show. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. I, hope, I hope people still follow that with headlines because I don't know if I'm gonna be searching that off top. 
I don't think Travis Scott himself will be in as much trouble as people think he will. No, I think the, the suing the artist, I, I think, is pretty asinine. He's just going to make the statement. Unless oh, people pass out at all my shows. How was I supposed to know? Unless someone, unless Travis said, everybody rush the front. Which if he did, I think that's the case, probably. There was a thing, too, which definitely didn't help. Before we went down, there was a countdown going on. So everybody's rushing to the front of the stage, e- trying to just kill the poor, poor children at the front. That, that does happen either way, though. Like, if he starts going, if, it, if, if people hear the music, that's, in essence, the countdown. That could have easily happened at Flogna that one year. It did. <laughs> there was there was there was a, a comp- uh, compression during the the. <laughs> yeah, but no one died. <laughs> no one died, but there was there was the the phenomenon of the crowd compression at the front, and they had to stop for a second. They're like, "Yo, you guys are crushing people." <laughs> at least they stopped. I was also. I think it was just before them, or like they did it in the beginning. But I was, bro. I was moshing. I was going hard. That was my first. That was my first uh, Brockhampton thing. I was, I think I was a little older than everybody, and I was going hard, bro. It was time to go. It was Brockhampton. Let's get it. I saw a video of a girl. She climbed up the camera thing to try to tell the camera guy to stop the show. Huh? And everybody's doing the camera guy shit. And I'm like, dude, like, there's no possible way in hell a cameraman could stop the show. He probably has a radio that's connected to the other camera people. The <laughs> only one that can stop the show is the sound guy. He just has to turn off the sound. And then the, someone would turn on the house lights. But li- like, the camera yeah. guy has no control. Lights doesn't have a lot of uh, cloud either because then the sound's still going and everybody just gets buck in the dark. And that's dangerous too because what if people riot? It's true. It's true. Where's the music? <laughs> you know? Like, that, that would, uh, you know, y- y- it happened with Drake at Flog and I want to keep going and keep going. Let's go. Oh my God. What if that happen? What if kids just climb onto the stage and just start staring, Dude, staring shit down? Where's yeah. Frank Ocean? The uh, the uh, if you make a uh, a meme a meme stitch of like of, of like a uh, the video of the Travis Scott concert, and then you stitch it with Drake at Flogna saying, "What's up, y'all? Want to keep going?" Or what? Ooh, I will keep going tonight. What's <laughs> hey, uh, 